The complementary and alternative medicine method that I chose was acupuncture. I have had people around me who have had acupuncture before and had benefits from the acupuncture. My boyfriend had an injury from the gym uh, about a year back and started doing acupuncture on his shoulder where he had his injury and he believed that it relieved some of the pain that he had from this injury. So what is acupuncture? Um, acupuncture is the insertion of a very thin small needles through the skin at strategic points of the body. Um, in this picture here, you can see different strategic points throughout the body on this mannequin. Acupuncture was believed to originate in China back to 100 BC. In the traditional Chinese medicine, it is believed that disease is caused by disruptions to the flow of energy in the body. And acupuncture stimulates points under the skin that helps restore the energy flow in the body. So how does acupuncture help? Acupuncture is mainly used to relieve pain or chronic pain and nausea. Um, there are current studies out there that are looking to use acupuncture in different ways, such as treating depression and anxiety and other things such as um, opioid dependency. Because most people get dependent on opioids through pain management techniques. So this will help them get off of the opioids and help with their pain in other ways. How does acupuncture work? So in the East, in China, like I discussed earlier, um, it's said to help fix your flow of energy. The thin needles are put into your skin, hitting the acupuncture points, which then release the energy, and then this energy then travels through channels called meridians to help restore the energy flow in your body and help alleviate the disease or the pain that you're having. Um, here in the West, Acupuncture is done in hospital, doctor's office settings, or clinical settings. Um, it is done by a, a practitioner. It can't just be done by anybody. Um, we here in the West do not agree with the Eastern philosophy of how it works. Um, the West has its own hypothesis of how it works. We're not 100% sure of how acupuncture is done and how it works because it works on some, but it doesn't work on others. So here are some of the hypotheses that the West believes in. So the first hypothesis is um, exciting biochemical responses, such as neurohormonal pathways. So this um, it stimulates the nerves in the nervous system, and then the nerves send signals to the brain, and then the brain releases hormones that makes patients feel euphoric, which then will increase the threshold of pain that they can handle which will then seem to alleviate some of the pain or all of the pain that they are having at the moment in time. And the second hypothesis that the West believes in is reducing pro-inflammatory markers as in the name it reduces inflammation, which then in turn reduces pain. And these pro-inflammatory markers or these protein markers are the TNF, and the IL-1 beta. And there is a particular spot that they like to call the sweet spot. It is a spot below the knee. Um, it is used in a wide variety of treatments that involve inflammation anywhere in the body. Um, it increases energy and the immune system, which then in turn also helps decrease inflammation, which then in turn decreases the pain. And so, in some scientific studies, um, one in particular, the acupuncture for chronic pain, which was done by Andrew Vickers and all these other people, looked at not, it wasn't a clinical study, it was a study that looked at multiple clinical studies. And in these multiple clinical studies, the pain conditions that were looked at was um, back pain, neck pain, osteoarthritis, chronic headaches, and shoulder pains. And so within all of these clinical studies that they analyzed and looked at, it ended up analyzing almost 18,000 patients and other randomized controlled study trials. So in these trials, 
they had um, their group that actually got the acupuncture, and then there was the group that had the placebo. And so, in these results, patient receiving acupuncture had less pain, and it's more than just the placebo effect because there was a big significant difference in the group who had the placebo and the group who had the acupuncture. Some of the complementary and alternative medicines use the placebo effect to make you think if you think you're getting better, you are getting better type deal. But this showed that is not the case. So there are risks and side effects just like everything else. Um, the risks are low if you have a professional, which you are supposed to have, because they use a one-time sterile clean needles, which then in turn reduces the risk of infection minimal to none. Um, some other risk and side effects you can have is minor bleeding and bruising from the injection site, and then you can also have minor soreness. Um, I talked earlier about how my boyfriend had acupuncture done. Um, he did have minor soreness for a day or two afterwards, but it wasn't anything unbearable. So there are other, there are other high risk side effects if you have these certain conditions, such as um, a bleeding disorder, which makes your blood thin, or if you are on blood thinners, because one of the side effects is minor bruising or bleeding. So if you have thinner blood, it's going to make you bleed and bruise easier. And if you are pregnant, some types of acupunctures are thought to induce labor, which would result in a premature delivery. And if you have a pacemaker, um, for acupuncture that involves applying mild electric pulses to the needles can interfere with the pacemaker's operation. So is acupuncture for you? Well, first of all, you have to choose a practitioner because it has to be done by a practitioner. Um, and they're not hard to find. All you got to do is pretty much just Google, where can I get acupuncture? And I did it, and in two minutes, I think I found 20 different people who can do acupuncture within a 50-mile radius of my house or my zip code. So, but acupuncture can be pricing depending on if your insurance will cover it. Um, either Medicaid or Medicare, one of the two, will not cover acupuncture. But most private insurances, such as Aetna or Blue Cross Blue Shield, will cover acupuncture, but with restrictions. Um, there is usually little to no pain and discomfort during the insertion of the needles. Generally, the needle is inserted for at least 10 to 20 minutes, and then you just kind of just lay there and relax. Uh, most people who do get acupuncture respond within a few weeks, but if you do not, then acupuncture is probably not for you. And that is all I have.